What's up guys, it is JBeebs here and welcome to another episode of the All Offensive Lineman Fantasy Draft. We have our final preseason game today as we face the Denver Broncos. And proof this is truly using a bunch of offensive linemen, that was a kickoff. So yeah, basically I did a fantasy draft where I selected 53 offensive linemen and then I've had to go through, change their positions around in order to have an actual team. So here we got Wyatt Teller, a middle linebacker. It actually has been pretty interesting to see how things have worked out, what players are playing where, things like that. Alright, so it's second and nine. We're going for another run play. Obviously, this is a team of offensive linemen, so we will struggle in certain areas more than others. But, you know, again, that's pretty much expected at this point. Ah, big hit, but I don't think we got him over the first down. Yep. See, so yeah, I just kind of, just even sort of like things like that, like recognizing the holes and I mean, these guys don't play defense; they don't know what they're doing. Big hit. See, the thing is, we're gonna get all these big hit stick hits just because of how big all of our defensive players are, but they're not gonna be able to jar the ball loose because, well, they're a little big. And they don't exactly have high hit power. But they can hit. Hit. And look at Parrot Paradis just got a sack there. There we go. Alright, so now it's what, 3 and 12? Yep. Yeah, we'll go cover four. Go and tell her. Uh, I guess pass. Just own the middle right here. Oh. Oh, there's a bounce. Um. Okay, not bad though. Field goal on the first drive, not at all bad. Yeah, fair catch it. Their quarterback is Lane Johnson. So yeah, he's not obviously not that great. But... If you, uh, just watch, because it's quite interesting. At least the nice thing is we have th we have an amazing offensive line. So we're, the team is re relatively decent at running the ball. Alright, so there's an overload blitz from the right, so I think Solder will be open in that slot. Yep. There we go. He's probably the heaviest slot receiver in the NFL ever. Uh, yeah, we'll run an inside zone. Last play. Actually, no, we'll change it up to a slant. I'm gonna get the snap off, Johnson. All right, good. Get the snap off. Did not make any reads pre-snap, so I'll... Oh! Go Solder. Goal Solder. He's not fast enough. But we got, we got down to the 10-yard line. So that's going to end the first quarter. Honestly, not, I, I would say not not at all a bad first quarter. And now, our running back is the man, the myth, the legend. Will Clapp. 
wearing number 69. Because yes, I am that childish. Another solid run. Down to three. Down to the one. We should just be able to power it in now with Will Clapp, right? Nah, give me Will Clapp. He's in. Touchdown, Will Clapp, baby. I'm telling you, he's going to carry this team. So yeah, and obviously... Actually, I can't remember if we can actually make these or not. Uh, nope. Yeah. So yeah, we do have to go for two on extra points. And we have to squib the kicks. Oh, guys, come on. You guys are seriously going to let that man run over you like that? Oh, yeah, we'll go cover three. Yeah, I'll just go and tell her again. Let's go. Hey, I know you guys have seen this after the uh, new Madden update where they changed fantasy draft, like the team's logics, and, like what they do. So th I started this before then. So yeah, we're playing against teams that are, well, they're pretty bad. Now we're gonna go bank. No, I want to switch to the cover to drop. Oh, it's not an option. Alright, cool. I want to I do that cover to drop because I want to have that QB spy. Let's tell her. Obviously, you guess pass. Bro, hit him high. Oh, what? Why am I all the way out on this guy? Oh, let's go! Let's go. Alright, um... We'll try this post-play. You're about to see why I'm, I'm very hesitant on making this. Oh, nice. Alright, on 42, let's... Go no huddle. We'll go deep attack this time. We we'll hit Jason Peters. Ah. Unlucky. Yeah, we'll try play action play. Um. Yeah. Okay. Third down. Well, I guess we we'll go for the PA crossers. All right. Well. Uh, well, we can't punt because it just physically does not work. So we'll try a stretch play with Will Clap. Alright, they're overloading on the left, so this this could actually work. Oh, it's gonna work. Yes, Will Clap. Alright, we gotta go in the hole. I don't wanna waste our timeouts quite yet. Um oh, I hope we get get this throw off. Okay, not the worst of outcomes there. Try to toss. Can we flip the run? No, nah, we'll switch to a slant play. We'll just look to hit square. Ah. Uh, 
Lucas's pass intended for number 82. Incomplete. All right, we'll try this weak. Brings up a third down. Oh, uh, let's run up the gut with clap. Hope we can get something going this way. So honestly, at this point, our, 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 our this game's not going very well. Uh, we can't kick this field goal. Make sure I like this play. There's an overload blitz on the right. So I think Solder's the read. Ah. Oh uh, yeah, um, yeah, we're on the fullbacks. I'm assuming it's just gonna be run up the gut. The problem is, a simple run up the gut for them can turn into that. Beautiful sack. Now, now they can't kick it. Yeah, they gotta go for the hail mary. Give your best shot, Broncos. There we go. First half, not bad. I mean, starting offense is playing well. Don't really care about the backup offense. Cornelius Lucas at uh, quarterback is essentially a waste. All right, yeah, we'll go single back. We'll try to run. All right, run. Ooh, yes. Good run there with Will Clap. Nice five-yard pickup. Don't you can just run Will Clap. I mean, never mind. Not just run will clap into the ground. Um See if triangle's open. Yep. Oh that's why Cornelius Lucas is our backup quarterback. He misses throws like that. Come on, Lucas, set your feet, compose yourself. There we go. Alright, now let's see if we'll clap this on. Couple of yards there. I will try to hit. Wait, what did I just do? I don't know what I did. Alright, run, Lucas, run. There we go. Alright, Justin Murray, let's see what you got. There we go, baby. First down. That's good for a Cardinals. First and ten at the 33-yard line. I'll try a nice play-action play here. Oh, man. Oh, that was a stupid, stupid, stupid throw. 
take over first and ten at their own 35 yard line. Kind of forgot that I was uh using a 12 overall QB. And actually not offensive lineman. So yeah. All right. Let's see now. Let's see what they do. Big hit. Barclays pass completes to Blake Jarwin. It's a gain of five. Brings up second and five. Arm just pass. Why is Stefan Diggs doing? Why are you guys playing good players against us? We don't have good players to begin with. Let alone, you're playing your good players against our backups. Let's go. I will say also at the time that I am recording this, I've also been working on some uh, Madden 16 gameplay. And to be honest, I think you know offensive lineman and Matt, oh, Frank Gore, what you doing, dude? But Madden 16 gameplay versus using these offensive linemen. To be honest, five years later, if you use, use less agile players, it feels the exact same. Is that bounce, yes, sir. Fourth and ten, what are they gonna do? Punt, punt safe man. Trust no one. Oh no, what's the flag? Okay, lock in the back, we can take that. Uh, try to stick and adverts. Hopefully, Jason Peters can. Yes, sir. First down, baby. Lucas, <laughs> three for 11, 69 yards, and an interception. Still doing better than uh, Hinton. Yeah, we'll try a stick play. Peters. Uh, we can milk this to a two minute warning. I think we gotta go two o'clock. Yep, we're gonna take this to a two minute warning. And we can hopefully get one more first down to pretty much seal off a victory for us. However. <laughs> I don't know if we're going to be able to do that. Um, alright, come on, we'll clap. No, we didn't get there. Actually, it might have been better for time management's sake, because obviously we don't punt. We'll try a stretch play. Worked. Look at that hole. First down, baby. All right. So I think even if we don't get the first, and we should wind the clock down enough. I think we should be good. Yes. Well, <laughs> glad we won us the game. Oh, that's the title. Will Clap won us the game. Calling it now. If it isn't, you guys need to let me know and tell me how bad of a YouTuber I am. If I'm not successfully clickbaiting. Another carry for the running back. Tackle made at the 21 yard line. 
We asked him to final play of the game. Right now, just give Will Clapp a couple extra yards. Just like that, we're gonna win this game. Yeah, whatever, ISO. Makes you know, we'll, we will do this final play with Will Clapp. We wanna get him over 70 yards. Ah, couldn't get it. Tonight's final score, Cardinals six, Broncos three. <sighs> I mean, six to three win. It was not pretty. But then again, you did see the team we were playing with. You saw those passes that Lucas was just completely missing for literally no reason. All right, now let's we'll check after this game. We're gonna check to see what players have upgrades. Hopefully we have some nice upgrades. I would like for Peters, I would like Peters to have an upgrade as well as, I don't know who else I want. Alex Redmond, one of our safeties. Uh, we'll go, oh, free safety, no, free safety will go zone. Outside linebacker. Uh, gotta go speed rusher. Just want him to get faster. If all line power rushers. Wait, teller field general. Plus five zone coverage. Amazing. Uh, yeah, I'll get Castro's pass coverage up. Corners. Yeah, I get that zone up. Another upgrade for a corner. This time we'll go man to man. And then we'll auto upgrade our, all of our running backs. But they're so bad they can't even be upgraded. Now let's take a minute to see how you can improve your team. So that'll take us into the regular season. And we will begin the rep regular season next episode. So in order to see that, make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Obviously. And make sure you check stay tuned and check back on the channel free frequently. Changes are it'll pop up in a, in the coming days. Anyways, I hope that you guys all have enjoyed. And if you're still watching, I love you. And it is Jay Beebs signing off.